Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Configuring Adaptive Threat Profiling Part 2 Learning Bike. Now before we get going with this, I want to point out that you should have already viewed the Configuring Adaptive Threat Profiling Part 1 Learning Bike as this learning bite is a continuation of that learning bite. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so here is SRX2, and we can look at the summary as well here. Make sure we have things, and great, things look good. And so let's jump into configuration mode. And remember, this is the branch network perimeter firewall. We can see we have nothing configured here for our security policies. And so let's go ahead and configure our security policies. I want to match on the source address. So we have a question mark here. We'll see the dynamic address groups that are related to the SEC profiling feed. And we want to do suspicious hosts here. We also need to match on the destination address of any application of any and dynamic application of any because we're just going to be blocking based on those IP addresses in that feed. We're going to deny the traffic. You can see here that things are set up. So before we commit this configuration, I want to do one other quick thing. Let's look at the dynamic addresses in the category SEC profiling. And there's nothing there. And you might ask yourself, why? Why would there be nothing here? This doesn't look good. And the reason behind it is we haven't committed this configuration yet. So there hasn't been any dynamic address group entries added in the SEC profiling category on this device. So let's go ahead and commit the configuration and then run that command again. And there's nothing yet. It'll take just a minute for it to get in there because it's got to get that information and then put it in it. Okay, so let's try that again. And great, we see that IP address that is in that feed is now there and it is present. And so let's go ahead and look at the security policy. And we can see here, if we look at the detail command, we can see under the source address that we are using the suspicious host feed. That's perfect, that's exactly what we want to see. Now, the other thing I do want to point out here is we want to have more than just this as a policy to access the internet for hosts for the branch network, but we don't really need to do that since this is simply just a learning byte. So let's go ahead and jump to SRX3 and configure what we need to do there. So here is SRX3. Let's look at the security intelligence category summary again. And great, we are getting those two feeds. We have the bad internet nodes feed that has four objects and the suspicious host feed, which has one object. So let's jump into configuration mode. And so let's go ahead and configure the next policy. And here we're going to match on the source address of any but we want to block anything going to those hosts, those endpoints on the internet. So destination address, and that's going to be the bad internet nodes dynamic address group entry. Specify application of any, as well as a dynamic application of any. And set then deny the traffic as well. And let's go ahead and commit that configuration. Let's check the security dynamic address group entries. And there's nothing there yet, but recall we needed to wait just a little bit on SRX2 for that to show up. So let's just wait for a second and try the command again. And great, we have stuff from the bad internet nodes feed showing up, and that's exactly what we want to see. And so if we do the run show security policies detail command, and we look at the data center ATP security policy, we can see the destination address, bad internet nodes, dynamic address group, set for the match criteria on the destination address. And then we can also see that there's a deny here as well. And if we were to looked at that on SRX2, we would have seen there is a deny there as well. Everything is working how we want it to work as prescribed in the criteria for our learning byte. So that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we talked about how to configure and verify adaptive threat profiling. 
So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.